Okay, so we're going to look at an example of a uniform distribution problem. Uh, wait times at the bank are uniformly distributed between zero and five minutes. So when we're dealing with a uniform distribution problem, generally it's going to have to say somewhere in there that the data is uniformly distributed. And then it'll have a start and a stop value. And here we have a start of zero and a stop of five minutes. For each problem, we'll draw the associated picture and find the desired quantity. So this is an example of a continuous random variable. We're going to have sort of two types that we use a lot, uniform and normal. So uniform is covered in chapter five, and normal will be covered in chapter six. Uh, so the first part says, find the probability a random person waits more than two minutes. So I have my distribution set up over here. I draw the rectangle because it's uniform. And I'll go into there and set up sort of my tick marks. One, two, three, four, five. I'll set that guy up. And probability they wait more than two minutes. So in the picture, what that looks like is go over here to two minutes and draw a rectangle from two over to five. A little wider and move it back, two to five. And maybe I'll shade that in. Two to five minutes will be this region. And so that probability Notation would be the probability that x is greater than 2. And what we do is we multiply it the width times the height. So what's the height of this rectangle? Well, the total area has to be 1. So it has 5 units across. So the height has to be 1 divided by 5 because 1 fifth times 5 will be the total area of one. So finishing this example, the, the width of the area that I've shaded is, let's see, so from two to five is a width of three times a height of one fifth or a probability of 0 0.6. And again, you can see one, two, three on the width, one-fifth on the height. For the next problem, it asks to find the probability a person waits between two and three minutes. And so I'm going to come over to my picture. I have my rectangle set up already. I draw a new rectangle for each part. It's just easier to see what's going on. And I go from two to three minutes. I'm going to shade that region in. Two to three is there, and I'll shade it in with some hash marks in here. So now we look at what's the width of this region. From two to three, that has a width of one times the height. The height is still one fifth. So the probability that and then x is going to be between 2 and 3. So it's 2 is less than x is less than 3 is going to equal 1 for the width times the height 1 fifth or 0 0.2. For the next part, again, I've already set up my rectangle with the height of 1 fifth and the units 1 through 5 on the bottom. It wants me to find the probability the person waits exactly two minutes. Well, so probability that x equals two. Um, so if you think about this, in a uniform distribution or in a in a continuous distribution, the probability that x takes on any one value has to be zero because 
if you were to add up all the probabilities, they have to add up to one. So if, if any one value had probability more than zero, when you added them all up, it would be bigger than one because there's infinitely many values between zero and five. Um, so in the picture, what that means is if we think of it as an area, well, what area would we be shading? The area here, right above two. Well, that area has width zero. So it would be zero, and if you wanted to, you could say times a fifth, but regardless, zero times anything is gonna equal zero. So that when you have a, a continuous random variable, the probability that x equals any one number will always be zero. I don't know why my screen keeps kind of jutting back and forth like that, sorry. Okay, so the next part asks us to find the probability the person waits more than two minutes given they waited less than four minutes. So that's a conditional probability. Um, let me write the notation here first. The probability, so let's see, they wait more than two minutes, so that's x is greater than two, given that they wait less than four minutes, that x is less than four. So the less than four part happens first. So in our picture, I'm gonna shade the region where x is less than four. That's that region. And imagine that's solid purple for a minute. And then I'm going to go in after and shade the region where x is bigger than 2. So bigger than 2, just the part of the purple that's also bigger than 2. So that's going to be from here over to there. OK, now I'll add my shading in. So x is less than four, I'm gonna do this purple. And then what we're saying, well, how many purple spaces are shaded? There are four of those. So I'm gonna set up a fraction here. Oh, maybe I could just do it manually. Set up a fraction here, the denominator. There's four things where x is less than four, and out of those, how many of those are bigger than two? This guy, two of them are bigger than two. So that's two out of four for our probability or, or one half. And I'm gonna do another conditional probability right next so you can see it again. So the next one says, find the probability it waits, it's a little different, it says find the probability they wait less than two minutes, given that they waited less than three minutes. So again, I'm gonna set up the notation first, it'll help me sort of figure out what to do first. Um, in this notation, the probability that X is less than two minutes, given that x is less than three minutes. So this less than three minutes has to happen first. Um, so we'll set up our fraction bar here, and we'll draw our picture shapes. I wanna go less than three minutes. So that's everything to the left of three in my purple rectangle. And then I wanna, of that, I want to know what part of that is x also less than 2. So I'm going to draw an orange rectangle for the part of the purple where x is also less than 2. And that's there. And I'll go back and do my shading. And we'll set up our fraction. So less than 3 is here. Uh, that's me hitting the button again. No button. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Come back up here, get my purple shaded. And come over here to set up my fraction. How many spaces are less than three? Three. Of those, how many are bigger than two? I'm sorry, less than two. In this case, there are two less than two. So that probability is two thirds. The last two questions deal with the mean and the standard deviation, and we're gonna use formulas for this. So what is the mean of the distribution? Um, the mean is just the average of that rectangle. So the mean mu, if you had a start value of A and an end value of B, it would be A plus B over two. In this case, A is zero and B is five. So that's 2.5. And it has the same units as the variable. So it's 2.5 minutes. If we wanted to sort of draw this in the picture, um, it'd be a little line going right up the middle here. Draw that in there, 2.5. That's the mean right where this would balance. Um, not the best picture, but it's okay. And the last part, G, what is the standard deviation of the standard of the distribution? Um, the standard deviation of the distribution, again, I'm gonna use a formula for sigma in that sigma. So this is one that I would probably just suggest you memorize, or you don't have to memorize it because you can have it written down when you take your test. It's the square root of B minus A squared divided by 12, and that's all under the square root. So in our case, B is five and A is zero. That's five minus zero is five, and five squared is 25, divided by 12. It's the square root of 25 over 12, which I know because I just did it, is 2.08 or 2.1 minutes. And just recap that here. Um, almost got the whole problem fitting here on one page. Let's see if I can get rid of one line here. I can get the whole problem fitting on one page for us. Maybe get rid of that instruction set. And maybe just go down. Wait times at the bank are uniformly distributed between zero and five minutes. Probability that x is bigger than 2, 3 times a fifth, 0 0.60. Probability a person waits between 2 and 3 minutes, that's 1 times a fifth, or 0 0.2. Probability a person waits exactly 2 minutes, any exact wait time for a, for a continuous distribution will have to be 0. And here you can see that area, that purple area there is 0. The probability a person waits more than two minutes given that they waited less than four minutes. So the less than four minutes happens first, um, and that's the purple region. There are four spaces, and then bigger than two, you know, there, there's three total spaces bigger than two, but only two of them are already shaded purple. So it's two out of four is that, prob get that conditional probability, or one half. And then the next one is similar, conditional probability going the other way. What's the probability a person waits less than two minutes given they waited less than three minutes? So the less than three minutes happens first. That's the purple region. And then of those, two of them get shaded. So that's two out of three, uh, point six, six, seven. And then what's the mean and the standard deviation of the distribution? Uh, the mean, we take the average of the starting and the stop values. So in this case, 2.5 minutes. The standard deviation, we use the formula for the square root of b minus a squared all over 12 and then take the square root of all of that. Um, one thing we wanna note is that both the mean and the standard deviation have the same units as the random variable minutes. Okay, so that's uniform distribution. Um, we have another form of continuous probability density function, which would be for normal distributions. Um, the other thing that can happen with the uniform distribution is it doesn't start at zero necessarily. So, um, 
that can change, you know, the, the pictures pretty much stay the same. You just have to count how many spaces are, what's the width and what's the height um, for the probabilities. Um, and then I think that's it. There's one on homework um, for uni uniform distribution where they, the, the total distance, the total width is just one. So the way the it's it's uniformly distributed between zero and one, so it has a width of one, it has a height of one, and similarly you're just coloring in the the region that gets shaded. All right.